Do you own and manage some single family rentals? Because while well, professionals say that real estate is a better tool for building wealth than stocks, it should be part of your portfolio as well. But is that one or two or three properties you have taking more time and effort than you thought it would? Maybe that you're willing to put into it? Would you rather take a more passive role in your real estate investing, but you don't know how to do it? So in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can passively invest in multifamily real estate without the headaches and energy of managing the property yourselves. I'm going to show you how you can start by understanding what syndication is, how you can scale your investing to build your wealth, and how you can take the first steps towards investing in a real estate syndication. Hey, my name is Michael Blanc, and I help people become financially free with real estate investing. Now, when I first started out, I had some rentals as well. And the several things that bothered me about them is one is they didn't really make a lot of money, $100, $200 per month. And then the tenant would move out. It would be vacant for a, a, a month. And then I'd have to do some repairs. And at the end of the day, I didn't really have uh, too much to show for. And it sometimes actually it, was, it took a lot of time. And I really felt it was very difficult to scale with rentals. So if I had some money and I really want to invest in, in real estate because I love real estate, I love the benefits of it, you know, buying another rental and another rental, and another rental didn't seem like a good path. And maybe you feel the same way. And the cool thing about it is there is a better way. And I discovered it accidentally in 2011 when I bought my first 12 unit apartment building. And I, I invited five investors to invest with me in that deal. And I did all the work, okay? It was, it was great for them because they, I, they brought the capital and I did all the work. But from their perspective, it was really unbelievable because they couldn't have, a single person that invested $50,000 in that deal couldn't have bought this $800,000 deal at the time. And they were high net worth, high income earners. They didn't want to do the work themselves. And so this was perfect for them. They got the cash flow, they got the tax write-ups, they got the profit at the end, and it was kind of a win-win. And so really the solution to passively invest in real estate is multifamily syndications. And this is where investors pool their money together to buy bigger buildings that they couldn't buy on their own. And then experienced operators manage the money and the property and the distributed returns. And it's much easier to scale because you're not trading time for money. So if you have more money to invest, you simply either invest more in a syndication or you invest in another syndication. And you can invest in different kinds of asset classes. You can have multifamily, you can have some self-storage, mobile home parks. And it all starts, the key to investing in this kind of asset class is to find the right operator. And so you have to do a little bit of work. It's not quite as easy as throwing your money over to a financial advisor. You gotta do a little bit of homework, but it's not a lot more. And the key really is the finding the right track record. And here's kind of what to look for, is ask about their track record as a partnership. So not just how long has the company been around, but how long have the partners been together? Because in this world, there's a lot of joint ventures and they come and go. And sometimes you'll have an experienced partner, but he's got two less experienced partners. So ask about their track record, how long have they been doing it? Have they, have they sold any properties? Have they been through some market cycles? Also look at how they communicate. How responsive are they to you, right? Because if they're not responsive to you now, before you invest with them, imagine what they're like when you do invest with them. And then when you get to a deal, really start asking questions about the deal itself. And to me, you don't have to be like this expert investor. You don't have to be an expert multifamily investor, but does it make sense? Right? When you're asking about the business plan, the exit strategy, their underwriting assumptions, does it all make sense, right? And so asking questions is, is key and then really try to assess the risk because there's a risk spectrum, right? If I have, for example, a low, loan proceeds, low loan to value, that deal is much less riskier at 65% loan to value than, uh, than, for example, financing that goes all the way up to 80%, right? The higher the risk, the higher the leverage, the higher the, the risk. So ask really some of these questions. Also look for what I call true operators. True operators are people that are, that are actually operating themselves. They have their own asset managers or have in-house investor relations, maybe a construction team, because there's a lot of syndicators out there that all they do is they raise capital and they then invest it with other operators. I mean, it's, it's a cool way to get into the game, but they're really not part of the operational team. They don't really know what's going on. They don't really have a say in the matter. So really look for true operators. And so we would love to be that true operator for you. We've been in business for a long time as a partnership. There's three other, we have two other partners, three total. And if you want to invest passively in, in real estate, 
then multifamily is the best way to go. would love for you to join our investor club. Head on over to nighthawkequity.com and click out a, a short form, get on our list, maybe have a conversation with us to get to know each other a little bit. But then once we have a live deal, you'll be the first to know about it. So we also have a bunch of uh, resources. We have on YouTube, we have some downloads, some blog posts, and some other downloads to, to educate you about syndications. We feel like an educated investor is a sophisticated investor who can make better decisions. So that's what we're all about here. So we'd love to have a conversation with you and, and present you with an upcoming deal. And until then, I'll talk to you later.